Let's start by constructing a very simple molecular orbital diagram of a hydrogen molecule. Because we will be saying molecular orbital diagrams a lot in this set of videos, we'll simply refer to them as MO diagrams. The MO diagram will have atomic regions on the sides and a molecular region in the middle. The first step is to count the number of valence electrons and atomic orbitals. A diatomic hydrogen molecule has two valence electrons, one from each hydrogen. Because of conservation of matter, we expect that the total number of electrons in our atomic orbitals should be the same as the number of electrons in our molecular orbitals. Because when atoms combine, they bring all of their electrons back into their molecule that they form. Each hydrogen contributes one s orbital, so we have a total of two atomic orbitals in H2. Just like with electrons, since we are putting in two atomic orbitals into our MO diagram, we expect two molecular orbitals to come out. The second step is to fill the atomic region of the MO diagram. One side will belong to one hydrogen, and the other side will belong to the other hydrogen. Each hydrogen has one s orbital and one electron in that orbital. The scale of an MO diagram is an energy scale. Since our two atoms are the same, we draw the orbitals on the same energy level for each. The third step is to fill in the molecular part of the diagram. In a previous video, we learned that when two s orbitals mix, they form a sigma bond. We also learned that whenever we form a sigma bonding orbital, we also form a sigma antibonding orbital. The sigma orbital is much more stable than an antibonding orbital, and that's why we draw the sigma orbital much lower than the antibonding orbital. Now, this is where we have reached our checkpoint. We need to make sure that the number of atomic orbitals is equal to the number of molecular orbitals before we continue. This is a simple example, and clearly we have two atomic orbitals and two molecular orbitals. But when you have molecules with many orbitals, this is a very important step. Now, the last step is to fill in the electrons. We have two electrons in our atomic orbitals, so we fill in two electrons into our molecular orbitals. And that's it, folks. That's your most basic MO diagram.